Welcome back, everybody. This your girl, Heavy C. I want to thank all my subscribers. I truly appreciate y'all. Okay, so this is going to be the blackout for the next 24 hours. All right. Remember, this read is general. If this is not your situation, you already know. Tap out. All right. Let's jump right in. Now, just know brighter days is ahead. Okay, because you just coming from a place of illusions and in the dark about a lot of things. Just really couldn't see a lot of secrets. Um, just some type of fantasy. And just know uh, it should be an energy that's bringing you life like you should be energized like it should feel like a new day like positive um it's just an energy that's going to give you strength and whatever you felt like you was missing or you just was low on energy i feel like you're gonna get a burst of energy in the next 24 hours that's because you may be still holding on emotionally to a certain person or a certain situation okay you still could be communicating with this person but emotionally you can't move on you still holding on you're not letting this go even though this could be a stalemate, like you could be in denial about dealing with this particular person. It took a lot of strength, all right, to still be holding on to this person. It took a lot of strength, but I feel like now is the time for you to make a final decision dealing with this. I feel like you feel like that this is your world and this is what will make you happy the most but it's like don't be no fool in this situation because I feel like you may really not know who you're dealing with you may think you're dealing with a leader and they take action and they just goal oriented and they just know what they want they just got just they just on top of their game but you could be really giving your happiness to a person that is the opposite jealous crazy possessive manipulative narcissist it just goes deep so just be careful who you putting all your happiness into if that shit is making sense i feel like you've been very patient with this even though you and this person could be blending and it's like you mixing, it's, it's like opposites attract, but you could be getting manipulated. Like you're just not manifesting anything in this situation. I don't know if this person needs to get a divorce. This person could be married. This person needs to get out of some type of commitment. Or this person is just not taking you serious when it comes to a commitment. That's why you're not manifesting right here. So just be careful of who you giving all your happiness to you putting your don't put your happiness into somebody's hands if that is making sense because the situation is about living in the moment you need to live in the moment do not try to hold on to this person from the fear of losing this person it's like okay if this person wants to go let them go like you can't hold on to this person i feel like you do not really put effort in it it's like don't overextend yourself to this person don't pick up no burden dealing with this person do not chase this person 
Because this is all coming from energy where you just lost and you just can't make a decision and you just want a new beginning. That's where this is really coming from. But it's like somebody, this person could be avoiding putting time in, like overtime into this. They could be avoiding being dedicated to this situation. You see what I'm saying? Like they may have stopped even moving towards you. Far as like going towards down that serious commitment road where it's potential. It's like, you know what? I'm going to forget it's on the right track. I got like they they got their head on their shoulders dealing with a serious commitment. It's like they stopped moving. They may be avoiding putting overtime being dedicated to the situation if this is making sense. Because what's sitting on this foundation is a lot of lies. Too many mind games. Too much manipulation. It's like dealing with the mind games and dealing with the manipulation. Dealing with the cheating. Dealing with the backstabbing. It's like mentally you may have set yourself free from thinking that way. Dealing with this particular person. But either way it goes, this it's like something is going to change with this pattern that you in dealing with this toxic relationship because this is toxic. It's a lot of mind games on here. It's a lot of manip manipulation sitting on this foundation, and I feel like you didn't already got clarity of that. You know the truth about mind games, envy, competition, jealousy, like really saying words that. A person can't take back like that's a lot of it's a lot of negative it's a lot of lower vibrations on this foundation but I feel like things will change because you coming from like just isolating yourself from this person I feel like you may have just isolated yourself and it's like now it's time for a change because whatever like this pattern that you in dealing with this person, it's like obsessions and can't stop thinking about a person and just sex. And it's just a lower part of yourself. Something is finna change dealing with that. Something is finna change dealing with that because I feel like it could be a lot of stalking involved. Like a lot of stalking. Like you could be the type that's watching readings 24-7 dealing with this person. Like that's how deep it go. This person could be watching you, watching your Facebook. Just It could just be a lot of unhealthy stalking. You looking at this situation like somebody either is playing with your feelings or you could be not showing your feelings or you just could not care in general. Like, even though emotionally you still there, you could be falling out of love. Like, it's it's... It's dissolving, okay? This is dissolving because it's still that feeling of rejection here. It's like, okay, let me just drink my wine and just, uh, you know what I'm saying? But it's like this person could be in a situation that they is not happy in. And it's like they want to connect with this energy, like past relationships, but it's not fulfilling. And it's like you is right here offering this person this love. And it's like they not really paying attention to it. It's like they're more focused on old connections that been dried the fuck up. It's like dealing with this. Somebody could be fearing like another change out the blue. Another moment. Another tower hit where it just tear down everything. It's like, okay, now I really got to start over. Somebody could be fearing that in this situation. But this is all leading to like energy that's not sticking around. It's like in and out. It could be like just sex. All right. Like that. Um, And it's like you two may just separate like may don't even want to be friends okay like 
this person could be already dealing with somebody and it's like they really not stepping up because they're already sitting on a foundation. So it's like they really don't have to do much dealing with you because it's like, okay, I already, I'm already sitting on a foundation. So you could have been just something extra, somebody who was feeling a void, dealing with this person, dealing with this person's life. Like something could be missing in this foundation, but, and it was like, you was there to fill it, but they really not offering you much. Like, if you was to, if y'all was, if, if y'all was to like separate it and stop talking, I feel like it wouldn't really bother this person because they've been sitting on this foundation so much where they probably not happy. And it's like, okay, I'm used to it. It's like they wouldn't mind like kicking you to the curb or leaving you out in the cold type shit. Like they wouldn't mind because it's like they already sitting on some type of foundation. If this is making sense. Like I said, I feel like this is leading to some type of separation. It's like you just falling out of love with this person. It's like the love is dissolving. Um, I feel like you deserve more than this. You deserve better. You deserve more. You deserve something that's coming together. You deserve a marriage. You deserve a home. You deserve kids. You deserve it all. All right. You deserve stability. You deserve to know where you stand with a person like you deserve answers so if you're not getting answers it's like okay what is the point of me here what is the point i feel like it's really not gonna be no attraction no more at the end of the day like after a while this spark this attraction is gonna fucking burn out it's going to burn out because I feel like you deserve a person to communicate with you. You deserve to know the truth. You deserve to have a person be honest with you, even though if it hurt. A person would get respected more if a person knew how to tell the truth. But if you steady lying and you steady manipulating a person, it's like, how do you feel you deserve any type of respect? If you lying, if you being manipulative, if you trying to play mind games, if you can't tell the truth, if you trying to one up a person, if you trying to like you cheating type shit, it's like, how are you going to get any respect from anybody? You see what I'm saying? So that's this person. And you deserve more. Than this person, than this situation. Because you'd rather a motherfucker be honest with you than lie to your fucking face. So that's really all I got, y'all. But I feel like you're going to get enlightened. Better days is coming. Okay, um, stay positive, think positive. All right, things will get exposed when it's time to get exposed. But it's just more about you thinking positive and you living your life for you. Don't put your happiness into another person's hands. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, that's really all I got. Um, thumbs up if that shit just made sense. If you like the tip having, I truly appreciate y'all. Sit from having 225 at gmail.com. It's PayPal. You already know. Peace out, y'all.